Let's go. Welcome to the inevitable return to butter. Welcome to the inevitable return to butter. I am your host, Critical, and my co-host, Squeezy Butter. And today we're talking about loyalty. What's loyalty to you? Being loyalty, law, loyal to who? Being loyal to you. What is loyal to you? Yeah, loyalty is a, is a quality, man, of being faithful and committed to a, a person, maybe a group, organization, or a cause. I mean, it's a strong feeling, you know, of, of dedication, allegiance. You know, when you feel like you you are are aligned with them, you you are really uh, into the person, place, or organization, or a cause that you're involved in. Um, you feel you feel real close to it when you when you loyal. A loyal person, they they they're dedicated, you know, to it, even in difficult, challenging times and stuff like that, you know. Uh, someone that's loyal, uh, they still stick to it, you know, through the hard time and the good times. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. I could, say, I could say that I'm loyal in certain places, but sometimes uh, I can't say I'm really loyal to my friends who uh, be going to jail and stuff. Yeah, well, I understand that, you know, and, and sometimes, you know, loyalty depends upon on certain situations as well, because you can't be loyal to to someone or something that's not loyal to you. Eventually, you're going to let that go, you know, and, and uh, one of the problems, one of the major problems of, of uh, people who are not loyal is a lack of trust. They generally don't trust the person who they or the organization or whatever. They really don't trust. Them. So you you will find a lack of, of loyalty in, in that aspect because of they don't trust you. If they don't trust. If they don't trust it. They're not going to be. They're not going to be committed to it. They're not going. You know? Yeah. I mean, you know, I feel like you know, coming from the streets and dealing with a lot of stuff. I had a lot of friends go to jail. And I ain't gonna lie, even when I went to jail, ain't no, ain't no, ain't nobody write me or tell me, uh, not nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, young age, when I went to jail, at the young age, doing all type of uh silly stuff and going to jail, I had no friends to write me and tell me nothing. Everybody just was on stupidity, you know. And I had a lot of friends who did a lot of time, and you know, and uh, and I wasn't really loyal to keeping up with what they had going on because a lot of times I didn't know what they had going on when they went to jail. I never was the person who knew people's cases and I bring this up because I got a lot of good friends. Well, I ain't gonna even say, I don't have no friends. I have associates and people that I've known in my past, uh, but I thought I should have been a little bit more loyal to them, I guess. But nah, I ain't. I can't beat myself about that because you're going to jail doing dumb stuff. Don't nobody know what you're going to jail for. Uh, well, at least I don't because I don't follow cats' cases and all of that, but you know, sometime, uh, I, I'm just saying myself in that aspect, I wasn't loyal, but if you was on the street with me and doing things with me and whatever, I'm going to be loyal to you on that end. Uh, but if I didn't have nothing to do with you, uh, catching your case or being around you when you was doing the stuff you was doing and go to jail, I don't feel like I got to be loyal to that and, 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 and be writing nobody for years and years and years. Like I'm a girl, but yeah, that part. Yeah, and and you know a lot of it goes back to to uh, self interest too, man. You know because people get themselves involved in things if, if they if they really value uh, a relationship or, or something that they're involved in, then they will be more honest and 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 forthright, you know, about their involvement with stuff that can jeopardize your whole project or your own relationship you know it, it has to it, it goes both ways you know you can't be loyal to someone who is deceptive and then if you've had negative experiences you know if people have had negative experiences with another personal organization they supposed to be loyal to and they may feel less inclined to remain loyal because of the negative experiences yeah. and that's that's just natural human you know 
You know, like my home, like my homeboys who be game banging. Shout out to all of them who game banging and uh, who have game banging. You know, we just be in the streets real crazy. You know, shout out to the ones who change. You know, they still be representing a flag on the low. We getting old as dirt, but uh, you know, shout out to all my homeboys. Y'all know who y'all are. I ain't gonna even tell you where we, where we was representing like that, but at the end of the day, they know what it is. And uh, shout out to all my homeboys out there that you know what I'm saying they still represent. I represent I represent them, the ones who changing, but the ones who not. I have nothing to do with what you got going on, uh, cause I'm about that. I can't I can't be stupid into stupidity at, at the age that I'm in, uh, at the age where I'm at and where I'm trying to go. I'm trying to live uh, past seventy, I'm trying to live past seventy, uh, but I'm I'm only gonna be loyal to people who's loyal to me, man. I don't under the word is kind of uh, uh. It's like you're saying, it's a quality. Uh, uh, just being there for somebody, being loyal to somebody, and then they backstab you. I've been loyal to so many people, and I done got backstabbed so many times, I don't even really trust loyalty. Yeah, and that's that's what I mean by the negative experiences. And then, you know, after change comes, uh, people's priorities change. Just like you were just explaining, you know, your priorities have changed over time. So what was once important to you is no longer it, it's no longer a priority. You have other priorities now. So, therefore, you can't indulge or, or, or continuously be involved in the things that you have been involved in in the past that wasn't wasn't catering to your development. Right. And that's with, that's with anybody. Uh, and, and by having a lack of alignment, you know, uh, with the other people, if people don't share the same values or goals as as the organization or or another person, did they supposed to be loyal to? No, I, I don't think I don't think so. Yeah, if if they if they're not aligned, if if you don't share the same values and goals, then you know there's no way that you 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 can expect loyalty to be in there. It's just just. That's unrealistic expectations, and that goes to the next part. Unmet expectations. When people have certain expectations that are not met, it can lead to feelings of disappointment and disillusionment, you know, resulting in a lack of loyalty, you know, because their expectations, they was expecting something out of it, you know, and, and they didn't get it. So without getting those expectations, then their loyalty is gone. You know, they didn't get the amount of money that they anticipated. They didn't get the, the, the amount of fans or, or you, you know, we were speaking on that uh, just recently about uh, an individual being being upset because he incurred some other uh, uh, expenses that he wanted to put off on someone else, you know, which is is. is, is he, yeah, he, he wasn't. Yeah, for sure, he wasn't loyal to his uh to the situation. I have, exactly. people, I have, I got so many disloyal family members. Don't make no sense, but yeah, loyalty is the quality that strengthens the bond. Uh, people can create lasting relationships. Loyalty right. allows people to trust each other, build strong connections, and foster a sense of belonging. It is an unspoken bond that transcends beyond, beyond words and creates a deep connection between people. Shout out to my brother Stunt Devil, you know what I'm saying? Who's uh who who's who's always been loyal to me, uh, Murder Gang, who's always been loyal to me. Uh, shout out uh, to to yourself, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got my big brother LC, my brother P Guns, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of people in my life loyal. My mom loyal to me. Uh, I got siblings that's not loyal, you know what I'm saying, that change up and go the other way, you know. So, like I say, man, the word loyalty is cool, but I don't I don't trust loyalty at all. Yeah. Because when it, when it, when it, when it, the change comes so fast for people, it, 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 it seems like you don't even know them. True. Now, I looked up five, uh, uh, five common signs of disloyalty. Just, just to reflect upon because uh, I've seen this as an experience, you know, being involved in a lot of different groups, organizations, and, and um, programs. And it's good to be able to spot these signs simply because if you can spot these signs and you spot the, this, the behavior, you can pretty much count on them being disloyal. And the number one sign is a lack of communications 
It says when someone becomes disloyal, they may start to withhold information or become less communicative. They may also avoid answering direct questions or provide vague responses. It's beating around the bush, so to speak. You know, when you when when a person starts showing signs of beating around the bush, don't want to come out and explain or or you know disclose all the information. Those are signs of of uh, disloyalty creeping in there. So you have to be aware of that. You know, if a person starts changing up on you, and the second one, secretive behavior. Disloyal individuals may engage in secret behavior such as lying or hiding things from the person or organization they're supposed to be loyal to. They may also start to have private conversations or meetings with others, excluding those that they are previously loyal to. And that has happened. That has happened many times in the it past. So many times to me, it don't make no sense. That happened so many times to me. It don't, it don't make sense. I mean, I'm, I'm, I recall talking to this one young, young brother and. He probably don't even know why. I, I mean, I listen to him, but he's so full of stuff. I tell him one thing. He go out and, and, and start trying to do what exactly what I told him. That's why I don't mess with niggas, man. Excuse me, my friend, but that's why I don't mess with guys, man. And you tell them something, they go up and tell somebody else. Like, and it's supposed to be between me, you, and the gatepost. Boy, the gatepost don't talk. So if it come out, you don't even want to say it. And then if you take action in somebody else's, uh, some some stuff somebody had told you on some positive stuff, trying to go forward with some positive stuff, you take it and run with it, like, do you use a fraud? Yeah, yeah. I had that happen so many times. It's just like that's why I be, I be kind of bitter to even doing anything with these dudes and these women. That it's so disloyal. Man. Then we will come to number three. Uh, you ever notice uh, after after an individual has been with something for so long and they don't feel as though they have what they want out of it. They start complaining, you know, uh, criticizing everything, yeah, openly like a, yeah, all yeah, like the decision. Of, yeah, like a lot of the young artists that's uh, be signing a record label, they're like, oh, this label ain't doing what it's supposed to do for me. They don't even understand it ain't nothing but a loan and a promotion. And a promotion, you got to put the money behind that to make yourself go all the way up. So, yeah, anyway, keep going. Yeah, and, and then number four, lack of support. When someone becomes disloyal, They'll stop providing the support or assistance oh, yeah. that they used to. Yeah, I have a lot of this that too. Yeah, and they're under and they're actively trying to undermine your work. You know, go and try to, like you say, go and put some other he say she say shit out there. You know, where 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 an individual could could question whether to deal with you or not or your organization because it's, it's, it has happened many times and I've I've observed. It, and it's ridiculous. Their behavior changes, which is number five. Disloyalty can often result in changes in behavior. This will manifest itself in various ways, such as a change in the attitude, less enthusiasm, or decreased motivation to contribute to the success of a person or organization they were previously loyal to. And we know this also so clearly where they, the attitude change. They don't even support. They have no enthusiasm, no type of, no type of uh, motivation to contribute. They won't even like a post. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> on on any other media or what have you. They won't, they won't give a comment. Won't give a like or what have you. They may scroll through to see. Yeah, all the watchers. Were, oh. Shout out to all the watchers. I got so many watchers on my line. It don't make no sense, you know what I'm saying? And they all fake-ass old friends. And fuck all you old fake-ass friends, for real. All you fake old-ass niggas who be watching and acting like you don't be watching. Fuck y'all. Real talk. Keep going. Yeah. But the benefits, man, of being loyal numerous. I mean, in personal relationship and in organizations, you know, it can lead to greater job satisfaction and increased productivity it can also uh, give us a, a better sense of camaraderie, you know, with our colleagues. Like, like you know, our relationship grows stronger with being loyal and being true to what we say we want to do and work towards. You know, you can build. You can build up on that if people have more within themselves. You know, uh, then we won't have as many broke down situations or communities yeah i ain't gonna even lie uncle loyalty has destroyed my brain because i thought i ain't gonna even lie i don't like loyalty 
I don't. Mm. I don't like it. I don't want nobody to be loyal to me because everybody who be loyal, they be fake too. I, I'm, I'm just keeping it 100. All of, cause, well, I'm, I'm just saying I don't like loyalty. I don't. I don't like it because I know me. I'm to my my personal life. I have been loyal to motherfuckers, and I, this kind of this subject kind of upsets me because I have been so loyal to people, and they not loyal to me at all. And I didn't got backstabbed so many times in in ways to where it could have ended my life and everything. Like I don't like loyalty, and I used to think because that's all I preached at back in the day, uh, building unity to teach another brother, you know, sister. That's still our motto uh, for butter. You know what I'm saying? And we gonna stay on that, but it's like. Dude, I, I didn't have people just being loyal to people. It is that that that's that's fake, man. Loyalty is fake, man. To me, just me personally. Mm -hmm. I don't like loyalty. I don't like I don't like it because I don't because people switch up too much. They only can be loyal that some a person can be loyal to you for thirty years and switch up like they never knew you in one day. True, like I say, you know that's that's part of what you say. You, you, it'll change up, you know. Uh, Based upon different things, could be their expectations, could be you know miscommunications or what have you. In any one of those those uh, um, number of reasons why people switch up. Yeah, you, you never know, and, man. And you can recognize it though. That's why I put those those five little points out because you can recognize it. You'll see it. And I promise you, everything you said, those five points are uh, are factual because. That's what I'm saying. Like each one of them. That's why it kind of made me upset. Each one of them. I didn't dealt with each one of those. All five of them. You know what I'm saying? And I should have noticed signs. But I have dealt with all of those things. You know, being loyal to a, a group of people. A bunch of people trying to be uh, real and 100. But you know what I'm saying? Keeping real goes wrong a lot of times. That's why Dave Chappelle. Shout out to my comedian. Fake comedian. I always bring Dave Chappelle up. But uh, because that line just really does some did you know keeping the real goes wrong sometimes man a lot of times yeah and then damn time keeping the real goes wrong a lot of times like uh, I don't mean to bring up no rap stuff in this because we got a podcast for that but like even like with Boosie little Boosie he keep it so really goes wrong you know he want he, he go to these different neighborhoods to shoot videos with these different gang bangers and he supposedly allegedly he caught a case pistol case while he was out there in California because I know he got to protect himself. That's why I'm trying to do expungement, get expungement and everything happening right now. And I've been on it for a year trying to do it for free, but why? Now, so I'm trying to reach out to a couple of lawyers to pay before they can hear up and try to rush the process. But one lawyer told me they couldn't even expunge it, but I'm, that's another note. But anywho, uh, yeah, man, but, you know, keeping it real goes wrong. He go out there in the neighborhoods trying to, you know, keep it real with those young guys. And, 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 and show he's still down for the cause We're well, not down for their cause You know just down to come in any neighborhood Whatever you know what I'm saying He probably strapped with his security guards or whatever man But look what it got him It got him in trouble man Even though he's still a millionaire he gonna keep going But too, we too old to be getting in trouble Keep going Yeah Too old for that madness man So I mean you know Basically the reason I wanted to speak about this is because we we both have experienced it, and you know, there's different levels. And it's going to continue to go on as long as we have people. Mm -hmm. As long as we have uh, uh, people with expectations and they have various different motives, you are going to go for what they want. They're going to support what they want until they receive what they want out of it. And if they are not receiving what they want out of it, then they will try to sabotage it. So this is just for us to be aware and to make sure we keep our ears and eyes open and, 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 and be aware of uh, behavior so it can be detected early on because no one is an island. We have to deal with other people, so we're going to have to deal with them. And uh, to a certain degree, but we don't necessarily have to get tied into no type of long-term relationship or dealing with no one if we choose not to, and that's best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my thing is, and then you know, I don't like loyalty. Don't be loyal to me. Just let's keep it one hundred, one thousand. You can be loyal to whoever you want. Don't be loyal to me. Keep it one thousand. <laughs> Keep that shit all where keep that a full circle with me. That's a that's what I'm saying. Keep it a full circle with me. Let me know what the deal is. If you only rocking with me, let me get out the way. 
I don't want to have to get killed by you. I don't want to have to kill you. I don't want to have to get hurt by you. I don't want to have you to hurt me. So, I mean, and, and, and I don't want to hurt you. So, I mean, I'm just like, I don't like loyalty. I don't like the word because it's so fake. And it's and, and it's so many fake people in the world, even with the uh, noticing it. Like I say, it'd be your family members and everybody. So, it's just, I just don't like it, man. Because that's what I was building. Everything that I do on was loyalty. And it crashed so hard. <laughs> Boy, I don't like loyalty. I just don't. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't. I find myself almost, it's almost like going live and nobody on there to talk to. Almost, <laughs> that's what that's what it feels like. Yeah. yeah. But, but at first they was all in the room with you. And then I ain't in the room with you no more. But like I say, we all, we all grow up and do different things and the loyalty is sure is sure going to change it, it's supposed to change because you're going because if you're doing something different you might be in, you you're going to be loyal to the next person that you're doing business with or or in a relationship with or in a friendship with that's just how it goes so the loyalty is going to shift from that whatever situation you was loyal to at first to another situation but that but this this is the thing this is the thing loyalty poses a go full circle even if you meeting somebody new or doing a different like you say dealing with a different entity or whatever you still can be loyal to the first group of people you was with or whatever you don't have to right. be false and fake and just stop cutting them off i just rather for you to keep it 100 and keep it 1000 and just be like look man i'm going this way this is what it is i still mess with you but you might not hurt too much from me but i'm trust me i'm still around bro i still got much love or a woman i still got much love for you but i you know what i'm saying anytime right. you reach out i got your back or whatever but for the most part i'm i'm fitted to go do this now You're right so my loyalty might not switch I don't, my loyalty might switch and i don't want you to think that i'm acting fake you know what i'm saying i'd rather for you just tell me like yeah i'm about to do this you know what i'm saying so i might not be attending a lot or i might not be tapping in a lot because i'm gonna have my focus somewhere else now and a lot of times loyalty will leave leave the hoods or leave uh partnerships and all that because people get into relationships so they loyalty got to sh shift to the relationship part of the be law to today to they mate like i gotta be loyal to my mate i can't be out here just doing everything under the sun i gotta be loyal to my mate if that's what type if that's what type of time i'm on hold on when we were just talking about how we've experienced the disloyalty and all that and how our priorities change when we get involved in other situations you know and that's just part of it yeah. priorities change situations change our needs change and everything so of course uh the relationship is going to change with with that's with anybody you know so but you can still like you say you can still be loyal to a person to a to a degree it's just you have to be real you know and communicate that's the bottom line communication communication is key if you communicate what's going on with you clearly, then nobody have no ambiguities. Everybody's clear about what's going on. You know, he got something else to do. Another engagement. It's not, you're not being shady, you ain't shaking me or nothing. He's just involved with that other priorities right now. And, and that can be respected better than someone just start acting shady, just start falling off and acting funny. And, 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 but that's the thing. A lot of people, a lot of people would do that instead of keeping it 100 i mean anytime i done told somebody that i'm gonna start dealing with them i pretty i, I give them heads up they they keep bull stuff and i just be up out of there man but i most i always tell people how i feel i ain't holding my tongue pause about nobody to nobody i don't care who they is i'm gonna let you know how i feel about the situation i'm gonna keep it pushing you don't like it forget it but if you uh you rub me the wrong way I probably, i'm not gonna send no messages i'm not gonna say anything i'm just gonna stop dealing with you you know what I'm saying? If, you, if, you, if you're doing too much snake stuff, I'm not going to deal with you. I just don't like loyalty, man. You know what I'm saying? Just respect me. You don't got to be loyal to me. Just respect me. Just respect me. And that just period. You, you respect me. And if you don't respect me, that's fine, too. But just don't disrespect me because you'll have a problem. So it's just like I'm just staying out the way, man. I don't like loyalty. I don't like it. I just don't. I don't like loyalty. I don't want nobody to be loyal to me because people are too fake, man. That loyalty shit don't last at all. Loyal to what? I do not like loyalty. I don't. That's one word I don't like. I don't like it because it. 
I ain't got rubbed the wrong way being loyal to people because I'm I'm the loyal person. So, and I know how all this stuff you talking about. I know how to do that. So I didn't done, done that, and it still just be like, oh man, forget it. You know what I'm saying? I I watch a whole group of cats who change their name to another name after I was the one who was loyal to them, and they changed their name to somebody else's name, and I'm the person who was loyal to them, having they back on certain situations. But like, but but did I? I, I don't know. Maybe I'm delusional. You know what I'm saying? But uh. But I watch that type, like I'm just saying, so disloyalty can go a whole long way. That's why I just don't be dealing with folks, man. I don't like loyalty, man. Don't be loyal to me, man. I'm going to keep it 100. Don't be loyal to me because I know you're fake. You're going to change up. I'm sorry, man. That just, that's just how I feel. That's how I feel. I don't know how nobody else feels. I don't like loyalty, though. I don't like loyalty, huh? Yeah. Hey, I understand I mean, you know, it's a, it's a heck of a situation. It, but it, it, it's a good thing if it is applied the proper way. I'll say that. Because uh, you can't you can't control people. People are going to be who they are. And they can pretend for so long. But eventually, the real them will come out. That's like I was telling other guys. When you want to go somewhere else and you think going somewhere else and moving to another location is going to change the situation. One of the things you have to realize is when you get to the other other location, eventually you going to show up. You can't run from yourself. If you keep having the same problems everywhere you go, then you got to consider looking at self and see what it is that's going on with self that's causing me to keep on having all these messed up problems. Yeah, I had mirror. to realize that. That's what the mirror is for. Look in that mirror. Look in that mirror and see. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times it be us. You know what I'm exactly. saying? That's what I'm saying. We have to look at ourselves and then figure it out. Hey, look, it's some things that I'm doing that I don't need to be involved in. Some some ways about me that need to change. And once we once we grasp that, then we can move on. And keep it good. When I was in the street, when I used to be in the streets, dibbling and dabbling in my life back in the day, uh, it seemed like so many people was loyal to me. They was loyal to the the situation, whatever the. The substance was they was getting and the plugs and the hookups they was getting but when I stopped I I don't even know these people you know what I'm saying like I don't even I, I mean they still they still think I kept it real with them because I was that dude but uh I don't know these people you know when you don't have if you don't have that type of substance or you're not doing that type of stuff no more they 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 attend to uh forget about you and forget who you are and everything because if you're changing they're not gonna they not gonna like that they'll literally stop dealing with you if you're changing right That's because what? you're not they're you're not gonna cater to their needs anymore yeah. you're not gonna you're not gonna benefit them anymore by changing up so you, you you're no use for them anymore yeah so I, I and and that's a that's a way that I knew a lot of people and uh, it's almost like surviving it, the, 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 <laughs> surviving it, man, and going really, really going through that lifestyle, and then coming out on the other end, man, unscathed. It's it's hard to do, you know what I'm saying? So, and uh, keeping your nose uh clean is hard to do, you know what I'm saying? So, I had a lot of fake loyal folks that I knew but I also met a lot of good people in that time that still will tap in and at least speak to me and show me some type of love but they all still respect me and they respect what I have changed into but their loyalty to me I couldn't turn my back on them in this day and time I couldn't mm-hmm. Uh, so, I mean, is it, it? You know, to each his own. Hopefully, uh, to each his own, man. That's all I gotta say. If there's anything else you want to say to these people, uh, I don't really have nothing else to say. You know, what I'm saying I don't like loyalty, and you know, don't be loyal to me, man. Just, just be respectful. I'm gonna be respectful towards you, but I'm not probably, I'm, I'm probably not gonna be loyal to, to you, man. You know, what I'm saying I'm keeping one hundred.
because I don't like loyalty. So, because I, I, because I practice something else besides loyalty. So, I show my actions. So, anything else you want to say? No, that pretty much sums up the the whole subject. Yeah. So, what's the name? Of this, yeah. What's the name of the podcast, man? Oh, this is inevitable return to butter. Yeah, and we out this thing. Peace. Peace. Inevitable return to butter.